Hey, it's Greg here, and today I've got the last video in my ALM System Coupe series, uh, overviewing and demonstrating the modules in the system. Today, we're gonna go over the MCO and the MCF. The MCO is a digital oscillator with uh, kind of a wavetable, multiple wave shapes, uh, pulse output, and a sub, which is a square wave, and it's one octave down and the MCF is an analog multi-mode filter. There are 10 different waveforms in the MCO. It goes from noise, triangle, saw, sine, bell, organ, four oct, back into organ. That's this little, little area here. And then it goes into voice and into pulse. So all of these outputs can be on the regular wave or on the pulse output. And let's put it on, let's say on this here, this nice smooth organ. And there are uh, four types of pulse with modulation. So you can control the uh, type of pulse with modulation. There's four types of pulse with modulation uh, with uh, input here. And then of course, we also have the sub output, which is just a square wave and octave down. And I think it sounds really fat. So yeah, that's what we've got going there. Um, and obviously it sounds great through the filter. Uh, and the filter can self oscillate. So let's listen to that. So it sends out a sine wave. It can be really fat. So uh, you can you can use these to create a complex oscillator if you'd like. Uh, first thing, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to send the uh, output into the filter, and we will listen to what the low pass sounds like. And the resonance can really uh, start to drive the filter, it sounds like, when you crank it up at low, low filter levels. And we'll check the uh, notch band or the notch slash band pass. And of course the high pass. Residence. And one thing that sounds really good I find on the MCO is if you mix the outputs. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send the output of the wave to the uh, mixer on the Milton and I'm gonna send the sub through the attenuator. And then I'm gonna send that into the mixer. And then uh, what we're gonna do is send the output of that into the filter. Let's put it on low pass. And then I can attenuate up 
let's change the wave to the organ. And I'll, now I can control the level of the sub with the attenuator. So what I'm gonna do to demonstrate the sound of this is I'm going to use uh, Quaid Mega Slope as an envelope. I'm gonna grab my OPZ and we're gonna plug it in through MIDI and I will just play uh, the oscillator and we'll hear what it sounds like. So yeah, now we've got a patch going. I think I may just uh, play a sequence on here. And let's just mess around. Oscillator is pretty useful with its uh, wavetable. You've got 10 different wavetables. You can do a lot of interesting stuff with the uh, pulse width modulation. I would recommend if you want to see a full video on this, the ALM TV YouTube channel has actually recently posted a video where they go through a ton of sounds with the MCO. And MCF right now is only available in this system. It seems like a pretty standard analog multi-mode filter. Sounds good to me. Um, yeah, so I mean you can do exactly what you expect with it. Uh, one last patch I'll do which is actually something similar to in the sheet that comes with the system coupe is just showing you uh, how we can make a complex oscillator with the MCO and the MCF. So I'll patch that up now. Uh, we're going to leave the OPZ's control and we'll just uh, patch that up quickly. So now we've got an additive synth voice with a uh, frequency modulation coming from the MCO. So let's just, uh, yeah, let's just start the same sequence and I'll show you what it sounds like.
So you can see with a uh, wavetable, you can get a ton of crazy uh, sounds out of this as an additive synth voice. You could send a pulse. So yeah, that was the MCO and the MCF, our digital oscillator, and our analog filter in the system coupe. So now I've gone through every module. Okay, so that was the MCO and the MCF, the digital oscillator, and the analog multimode filter. I really love the system coupe. It's been a really fun time the last week and a bit exploring this thing, and I hope that these videos provided you some value. If you were interested in looking at any of these modules, it might have helped you see some of the stuff that you can do with it. Like I said, I'd really recommend watching the videos on ALM's YouTube channel or checking out DivKid, uh, Mylar Melodies. I mean, there's a ton of really good YouTubers for modular stuff, probably a lot better than me. But if you're looking for more stuff, I'm going to try and make more videos with modular gear. Let me know if you have any questions based on this series. And yeah, hopefully I'll see you in my next videos. Thanks. Bye.